This video shows how to fix your HP DeskJet 1510, 2540, DeskJet Ink Advantage 1510, and the 2540 All-in-One Printer Series printer when the ink carriage jams and the attention light on the printer panel blinks. To fix a carriage jam, perform the following steps. Resetting the printer can sometimes fix the problem. To restart the printer, press the power button to turn on the printer. Disconnect the power cord. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait at least 15 seconds before plugging the power cord back into the wall outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Print a test page. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load the paper in the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Press and hold the power button. While holding down the power button, press and hold the cancel button. Hold them both down for two or three seconds. The test page prints. If the test page prints, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, continue to the next step. A paper jam can cause the carriage to stop working. Follow these steps to clear a paper jam. First, pull the paper from the input tray to remove the paper jam. Remove any jammed or torn paper from the tray. Use a flashlight to make sure no paper remains inside. Next, Remove any jammed or torn paper from the output tray. Use a flashlight to make sure no paper remains inside. If you cannot remove the jam from the trays, follow these steps to remove the jam from the inside of the printer. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Open the cartridge access door. Remove jam paper from inside the printer and close the cartridge access door. To remove jam paper from the bottom of the printer, first disconnect the USB cable from the back of the printer. Holding the scanner lid down, turn the printer on its back so you can access the bottom of the printer. Pull out the tabs on either side of the cleanout door to open it. Remove any jam paper from inside the printer. Using a flashlight to make sure you do not miss any pieces that are stuck inside. Close the cleanout door by pushing the door closed until it snaps into place. Rotate the printer back to its normal and upright position. Open the cartridge door and remove any loose objects. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Press and hold the power button. While holding down the power button, Press and hold the Cancel button. Hold them both down for two or three seconds. The test page prints. If the test page prints, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, continue to the next step. Follow these steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. First, check the carriage path for obstructions. Open the cartridge access door. The cartridge moves to the center of the printer. 
Wait until the printer is idle and silent before continuing. Follow these steps in order to avoid risk of electrical shock. With the power still on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the electrical outlet. Check for and remove any objects that are in the carriage path, including any torn pieces of paper. To manually move the carriage, reach inside through the cartridge access door. If the carriage is stuck on the side, move it to the middle. If the carriage is stuck in the middle, move it to the right side. Remove any loose paper or obstructions from the carriage path. Push the carriage to the left, then to the right, making sure it can move freely across the width of the printer. Close the cartridge access door. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer and plug the other end into the electrical outlet. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Print a test page. Press and hold the power button. While holding down the power button, press and hold the cancel button. Hold them both down for two or three seconds. The test page prints. If the test page prints, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, continue to the next step. Improper placement or installation of the cartridges can cause a carriage jam error. Follow these steps to remove and reinstall the cartridges. Open the cartridge access door. The cartridge moves to the center of the printer. Wait until the printer is idle and silent before continuing. Press down on the cartridge to release it, then pull the cartridge out to remove it from its slot. Do this for each cartridge. Do not touch the copper-colored contacts or ink nozzles. Use a flashlight to check for and remove any obstructions under and around the carriage. Next, insert the cartridges into their slots. The tricolor cartridge goes on the left, and the black cartridge goes on the right. Hold the cartridge by its sides with the nozzles facing the printer, then insert the cartridge into its slot. Double check that the cartridge matches the icon on the slot. Push the cartridge forward into its slot until it snaps in place. Close the cartridge access door. Print a test page. Press and hold the power button. While holding down the power button, press and hold the cancel button. Hold them both down for two or three seconds. The test page prints. If the test page prints, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, continue to the next step. Follow these steps to plug the printer directly into a wall outlet and print a test page. First, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from any power strips or surge suppressors. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Print a test page. Press and hold the power button. While holding down the power button, press and hold the cancel button. Hold them both down for two or three seconds. The test page prints. If the test page prints, the issue is resolved. If the test page does not print, continue to the next step. If you have completed all the steps and are still experiencing issues, the printer might need to be serviced. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you have owned the printer and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options for your printer.
You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hpprintersupport.